Hi Float Moms! Today's post in our informational series discusses a broad range of things that you can do to comfort a crying baby. A crying baby that is not tired or poopy or hungry. If we're being honest, some of us get really easy babies and some of us get really tricky babies. One, put a swaddling blanket in your dryer, take it out and use it to wrap your baby. The warm swaddle generally will calm a baby down almost immediately. You can do this before bedtime, you can do it during a feed, but the warm blanket usually really, really helps. Many of you already might have an exercise ball that you bounced on during your pregnancy. We'll roll it back out. Nine times out of 10, when we have a fussy baby in the store, we pull out our bouncing ball, sit on it with the baby, and bounce. This helps them, helps soothe them, calm them, or whatever reason, maybe they're used to it from when you did it during your pregnancy. But if nothing else works, get out your bouncing ball and try that. If you don't have one, you can pick one up from your local sports store for about $10. Sometimes babies are bored. You can get out your boppy or a bolster pillow, lay your baby tummy and arms over the top with the knees kneeling down on the mat or the floor, and lay out some toys in front of your baby to look at. Uh, not only does this help distract them and give them something new and interesting to look at, but it's also a great way for a gassy baby to find relief by being up on their knees, and it's also a great way for you to accomplish tummy time, especially for those babies that hate tummy time. Sometimes, if a baby is fussy between that 4 and 7 p.m., I think we all know the time that I'm talking about, it's helpful for you to get into the bath with your baby. Not only will the running water sometimes soothe and comfort them, but being skin to skin in the warm water also feels good and takes them back to when they were a newborn or in utero. If you have a baby that's fussy between 4 and 7 p.m., don't we all? You can put a towel in your dryer to warm it up, lay your baby tummy down on the towel, lower their diaper in the back, and use a little bit of lavender essential oil that's diluted in a carrier oil. Rub it on the bottom of their feet or on their bottom up to their lower back. If they're gassy, this will help relieve some of that tension that they feel in their lower back and the lavender with carrier oil on the bottom of their feet will help because the pores in the body um, are the biggest on the bottom of the feet and so it will quickly absorb there and help to comfort your baby. If you feel like your baby is gassy, try laying them on their left side with a pacifier. All of the food and the gas moves just like we read, left to right and then down. So by laying your baby on their left side, you're letting gravity help you by letting that gas fall down to the left side and then hopefully out. Did you listen to music during your pregnancy? Sometimes a fussy baby will respond to the same music that you listened to while you were pregnant. Try putting that on and seeing if it makes a difference. Oftentimes babies are overstimulated and it's something that we don't realize because the environment is normal to us. Try taking your baby into a dark room where there's no sound, no light, and really try to bring it down a notch and see if maybe just the lack of stimulation helps to calm them down. Another reason that babies are fussy is they might be going through a leap or a milestone. We tell all of our new mommies about the app called The Wonder Weeks. We really like this app. You put in your baby's due date and it will send you notices in the form of a weather report. For example, next week, storm clouds, expect sunshine on the 17th. This allows you to plan for upcoming leaps. It also describes what your baby might be going through and things that you can do to help um, get you through that transition. Have you ever noticed that when you put your baby in the car seat, they cry? Have you noticed when you pick up the car seat and swing it back and forth through the air, all 50 pounds of it, that your baby generally stops crying? The same is true for lifting and lowering a baby into the air gently. For whatever reason, most babies will respond to this. Lift your baby up and lower them down. It's great work for your biceps too. The ceiling fan is tried and true, so if you have a fussy baby, try laying them underneath it and letting them watch it. If your baby is arching their back or spitting up frequently during the day and night and cries immediately when you lay them down, 
You might discuss with your pediatrician whether or not they think that your baby could have reflux. Many of our little friends are on reflux medication. It's very, very common, and it can be very effective to put your baby on medicine if you and your pediatrician decide that it's right for you. Lastly, talk to your pediatrician about a probiotic for your baby. Good gut health is very important for these little friends, and your pediatrician can make a suggestion for which probiotic might be good for you. I hope that at least one of these tips helps you and your baby get through the first three months. It's a very, very tricky time. It's a difficult time and everyone is going through it, so take comfort in that. As always, feel free to call us if you have questions that we can help you with. Our number is 832-819-8380 and we are happy to help. Thanks and float you soon.